Hey crew, it's Pid, and I'm back with something a little bit different. This is not going to be a reaction, but it's going to take that format for just a minute. This is going to be a short video, but I just got a new piece of knowledge, and I'm going to share it with the crew. And if you have been following along with any of the playlists that are going to be linked up here, this is an interesting tidbit of knowledge that you are not normally privy to. Most of the rituals and ceremonies and things are uh, private in Freemasonry. But this is a discussion on the PBD podcast by Mr. Randall Carlson. <clears throat> and he's talking about the rituals, that the parts that he can. And there's an interesting bit of information that leapt out to me. And we're going to talk about it. But first, let's let him talk for just a second. This is well into the conversation. We're not really trying to get a whole lot out of this, but one particular thing. So let's dig in. The, the fellow craft degree and then the master's degree. Each one of those has what's called a catechism. And what the catechism does is a series of questions and answers that guide you through everything that you did in this ritual. Now the ritual, think of it as a play in three acts with say seven actors and then the candidates. So there'd be a total of eight, right? Wait, what? So you have one, three and eight being represented? Is that is that right? Oh, wow. Is that coincidental? I don't know if that's coincidental or not. What do you think? What do you think, crew? Is it coincidental that we've got one, three, and eight? I bet it's not. I bet it's not that we have one, three, and eight. I bet that's not a coincidence. And I have not. Y'all know what I'm doing over here, if you're following along. <clears throat> We're working through Manly Hall right now, and he deals a lot with Freemasonry, and we talk an awful lot in there about one, three, eight. But it has not been mentioned any of this at all. This is a coincidence. Or is it? 138 is very important. It is the number of one, which is the creator, all, God is all. It is the number of three, which is the trinity, which is the body, the soul, and the becoming. And it is eight, which is the number of chakras that you have answer to, or access to. It is the power of manifestation. It is the number of manifestation. And here it is again. You have the one initiate plus the seven making the eight in a three-part ritual. That is not a coincidence in my best estimation, in my conspiratorial mind. And I am not casting any aspersions whatsoever on Freemasons or the craft of Freemasonry. If you are unfamiliar with me or any of my unconventional beliefs, check it out up here. But... I don't hold anything against any of these organizations, even though I am not associated with any of these organizations. So you should definitely check out some of this other stuff, but check out PBD and Randall Carlson, because this is, this is interesting as well. Especially if you have been following along, you should definitely check out this podcast. With that being said, if you like what I'm doing here, hit me with the buttons down below. Give me a like, share and a sub, throw me a comment if you agree or disagree. As long as it remains respectful, it gets to remain up. And if you really like it, hit me with that super thanks because I am not a communist. Till next time, I love you. God loves you. You are perfect, whole, and complete just the way that you are. And this has been Pitt State. Peace.